Hi everyone and welcome, this is Snookus in Europa Universalis 4 and you're welcome to the switch tune of this Swedish musician once again in our Swedish campaign here and as you might remember last time we won the war against the Teutons and we are also colonizing now which is actually draining our money uh, resource, our money income, our coffers quite a bit so we, yeah um, that should be remedied quick, pretty quickly though, since we are gaining a whole lot of settlers. We end, look at that, we are 10th place in the world. That's pretty nice. We, don't live, we haven't even played 100 years yet. Great. Anyway, let's go. Um, as I said, we are probably going to ally the Brandenburgians simply because of their strategic position. Okay, this is just awful. Foreign spy detection not minus 20%. I mean, materialistically, it's not gonna ruin us, but it's not gonna be great either. It's it's lucky that I'm not an AI because then I would spill all our, uh, I would leak all of our war plans to our enemies. I'm not gonna lose the stability. That's simply not gonna happen. I'm sorry. Um. Okay, this this might seem crazy, but this is our chance to lose our our king, and instead we will ha we will have this doesn't do anything for us anyway. So uh, we would have um, our queen consort as our uh, queen, uh, our monarch in command, which would give us cheaper advisors and two more monarch points per month. Of course, we would lose. We would lose a stability. And. But that might not be too bad. I mean, Assel is um, a problem. But we are converting it. It's, it's, it's gonna be done soon. And um, our extension is gonna be lost soon as well. And the other Catholic Zealots, which is Dala Skogen. Which we can all we can always increase autonomy if we have to, and this should be done in uh, two years as well. So you know what? Let's take this chance to get a better ruler. Of course, then now this happened, um, which we can remedy pretty quickly. But let's go along for a while just to um, see where it takes us. We might get a. Um, a stability increase from somewhere else. But then I'm gonna take this simply because we want a deeper point. So if you would, if you look at the rebel factions now, it's now 10 years before the Catholic Zealots raised up and 11 years before the Estonian Separatists. So still nothing to worry about. And now let's retingle. Re let's retie all of our. Uh, relationship, relationship threads here. Our only hope over here in Poland is that the Brandenburgian heir dies before the actual monarch dies. Because in that case we would take the top spot. Oh. The money would be nice, but I'm gonna go with the triple points. This doesn't do anything for us now, but we could use this. I'm, I'm gonna keep going, even though I would like to take grab onto the tech. But I suppose the longer we wait, the cheaper the tech actually gets. Uh, potentially, depending on how many neighbors that actually get it and stuff. Okay, so let's remove this one. Let's... Um, No reason to do anything really. Um, what was I looking at? Yeah, right. Uh, we also gained the uh, Indianis Verket here. The Swedish allotment system was the division of the peasantry into groups of 10 for recruitment purposes. This system made it easier to find people to serve with the army and organize them into units, which gives us an additional 20% manpower recovery speed, which is always appreciable. 
our very active explorer are doing good work. We are gaining more and more vision every day. Okay, so Spain... Now we know that Spain is uh, colonizing over here in South Africa. Portugal seems to be focusing on in African Mali. Mali, Africa. Um, so I, I'm gonna say this now. I might backtrack on it later on, but I think I'm gonna try to uh, gain at least five provinces down here in the Caribbean. Try to uh, gain as much uh, trade power down here as possible, which we can then use to funnel up and the trade through the Caribbean to the Chesapeake Peak Bay to the Gulf of St. Lawrence and down to uh, over the sea to um, the North Sea which we can then funnel down to Lübeck so that's the official plan but we'll see how how uh, it develops nice now we have um, a new state here let's see how that state actually looks okay it's all of this and all of this although this might be okay this is Estonia and this is Coronia right cool this is going fine this is up to 14% still a few years to well about two years before uh, we have to worry uh, okay so we and Eric's Fjord is um, Self-sustaining, and we finished the mission. We could gain some prestige, or this is not gonna happen. So we could do this one, which would give us more money. Sure, let's do that one. And um, our truce with um, Livonian Order, Terral with Riga, still finishes up in uh, 14, 12 years. So, uh, okay, let's keep that in mind. I'm gonna colonize Bermuda, Bermuda, uh, simply because that allows us to colonize the Car Caribbean. We, since we don't have the range as of right now. And I'm also gonna core these two when we get them, since we're not gonna uh, get a colonial nation over here. Hi, little polar bear. Okay, let's take the Church Power hit. Church Power is nice to have, but not that important. You're cute. Anyway. Okay, let's send our explorer out on another... No, that's the wrong mission. Another exploration mission. Atlantic South America, can we... We can see some, but not really a lot. So let's go with the Caribbean Sea, which will just be a little bit over here. And let's instead go with West African Sea. We might be able to discover something new. Um, what, was I, what was I thinking about before that happened? I, I don't remember. Um, okay. Are you still in the war? No. Did you gain anything? No, you didn't, unfortunately. That's too bad. Anyway, let's offer you an alliance, which you will accept. Great. Uh, okay, so the religious, we've gained Saxony in our Protestant Commonwealth here. Hopefully we will gain um, both Norway and Denmark in the future as well. Denmark seem to be on their way anyway. Um, and another thing we could do, we could declare war on some uh, nation over here in, in Europe and uh, take us the only war deal to make them Protestant, just to bolster up our future alliance. Yep, let's make it a, a true core. Now let's look at the trade situation. We still have a monopolistic position here. We have... Well, we are in second place here. Um, together with Novgorod. And we are transferring quite a lot to the Baltics. Over here in um, the Liebeck channel, we have a pretty favorable position, I think. We do lose a lot from uh, the sound toll and stuff like that. But in the future, we will hopefully have a few more holdings over there. Right, let's take a look at the um, institution situation. 
um, as you can see, only Portugal and Castile still have uh, embraced them, but France will soon, I'm assuming here. And then it will also spread across the Mediterranean to the Ottomans and probably up through that way to us. This, this path would probably take a little more time, but you never know. We'll see you. Uh, and then the printing press, which is one of the few, uh, one of the few uh, institution that is actually favorable to us because it usually spawns somewhere over here. It needs to be a Protestant or reform reformed nation, and it needs to have. Um, uh, uh, let's see here. It needs to have. Um, I don't know. I, I think it was a certain amount of development. So um, we are in a favorable position in that regard. Okay, so our uh, explorer is done. Let's explore some more. Let's actually do that one now. Okay, so some witch trial trials. Um, let's do this one on the chance that we don't get any local unrest. Okay, so this is all of our rightful states if we ever take them. Um, nice with Danzig there, giving us a trade boost. Now we also need Memel. If this um, crisis build-up goes on for too long, we're gonna have to um, boost up our stability once. Which, since... Um, the stability isn't too high, it shouldn't be much of a worry. Since our stability is zero, I mean, it's um, gonna be quite cheap. So it's not the end of the world. Um, right, we were talking about... We were, yeah, we were talking about attacking Novgorod a few episodes ago. And that's something actually we should do. So let's build some spy network here and try to take some uh, promises from them before Moscovy does. Let's also build up our trade fleet a bit. We could even for them our ideas give us reduce inflation cost, so not really wor worth it in my opinion. And by the way, it seems clear to me that our next idea group is going to be military due to our huge military bank here. So that's probably what's going to happen. Um, and we will look at that when we face it, but you know. Oh, sorry. Okay, so the exploration is done. Let's see what we do now. Caribbean Sea. Sure, it's not much more to uh, discover. I guess there's some more in the bay in here, but more than that. Otherwise than that, it's not a lot. In a month or two's time, we're gonna be able to pick up this um, new colonist in the free colonist idea. Another month. Uh, here we go. Great. And then we're gonna send one, unless we can... No, we can't reach down here. So we're actually gonna send one um, to Vespigdan just to finish it off so we get a bit more money after that. I think we're gonna go with the church power, actually. We are friendly with all the Protestant countries that we want to be friendly with, so not much of an issue. It's gonna be nice later on. Uh, maybe expand a bit with uh, by call uh, by conquest over in America, and this will be nice as well. Even though we are we're just at the, we are just uh, above uh, the naval force limit. Okay, we just lost an advisor, unfortunately. National tax sounds good to me. Could have gone with the. Um, uh, missionary strength, but it's not that necessary really. We only have two more places to um, 
uh, two more places to convert, and even though they're gonna take a few years each, um, it's not crucial enough to warrant its own advisor, I think. We're already above 90% religious unit as well. Okay, so unfortunately, Moscow is gonna eat Novgorod now. That's uh, on me for being too slow there. We still have this war in the future to look forward to. Taking all of Estonia here, which will um, connect. Holy shit. Okay. Connect uh, us with the rest of our holdings. Okay, Dalaskogen is successfully has successfully been converted. Now let's go for Farana, the the place that threatened to rise up if we didn't allow them to be Catholic. Anyway, the scattering of poison. Okay, alright, we lost our explorer. I hate that. Anyway. Prestige, yeah, prestige, thanks. Now we finally have positive prestige here. Something we haven't had in a little while. Let's send you home to... Um... What are you doing? Yeah, okay. He, the fleet is returning by itself. I'm gonna let it rest here, since we can't... Um, can't actually explore any more area anyway. We pretty much discovered all this, so until we um, we finish we adopt this tech, we uh, will simply let this guy wait over here. Since when we adopt this tech, we get large um, longer colonial range, and then we can explore some more. You know what, I think it's um, the safest bet to simply boost up our stability now. We did have the more, we, we did have the admin points and we weren't gonna spend it on anything anyway, so why not? Well, we could have spent it on a tech maybe, but I think that's more necessary. Um, after we've taken this last idea and um, taken this tech, we're gonna switch over our focus back to administrative just so we can keep up on um, tech with our neighbors now since we can only save about a hundred more power we're gonna develop something here Blekinge looks um, like an interesting we would like to um, develop one more there to get it above 10 so we get another building slot but we can save that to a later date. Let's go down here to Nerke and give that three clicks simply for the extra building slot there. That's the main thing I'm looking for when I'm developing. Um, let's see here, we can do the same here and we do have the points to allow it since it's gonna be a few years until we really need to adopt military tech anyway. Um, let's see here, we are ahead of time two years. It's gonna be two years of actually gaining military power, so we're gonna have more than enough anyway. Okay, so let's make sure that our fleets combine, even though the heavy ship doesn't do anything for the trade perspective, but um, it's nice if a war breaks out and our navy finds themselves out and about and not protected. And <laughs> Funnily enough, this is what we were waiting for. Another stability that we didn't have to pay for. Um, we're gonna take it, even though the burger's gonna be somewhat pissed off. I'm sure they can manage. Can we, we can even um, demand some military support if we would like to do that. Building-wise, we might want to build something. I would like to place a fort down here. But, hey, look, it's even called uh, Swedish War Pomerne. Nice. So when we um, uh, connect these two areas, it's probably going to be called something even cooler. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to wait to build a fort down here until um, these areas become more important and uh, until we can muster a sizable force down here to protect the fort, since fort gives a lot of war score in wars. We can build a workshop somewhere uh, over here in Dalaskogen. It would be a, quite a big boost, actually. 
trade-wise, we could build a trade post somewhere. No, I think we're gonna go with the workshop. Because it's gonna boost both our production and our trade. And the reason it gives so much over here at schooling is due to this modifier here, the Stora Copper Barriot, which is a big mining operation. Anyway, um, I think that's it for today, actually. Um, I'm happy you watched this and <laughs> all that yes anyway um hopefully see you next time please leave a like and or subscribe if you want to do that and um yeah have a nice day bye